Welcome back, Guardians. Firstly, there is no artwork this week. And why? Because you guys made the last week's artwork absolutely blow up on Twitter. Gamma Trap said if his post got to 1,000 retweets, he was going to take the week off. So yeah, <laughs> it obviously achieved that. No artwork this week, but of course, well-deserved rest for Gamma Trap. I'm sure he'll be back next week with uh, even better artwork. Now, this video should not have spoilers because by the time I release this video, the Felwinter's Lie quest should be patched and you likely have already completed it. That being said, if you have not completed the Felwinter's Lie quest and or you have not read the law book The Liar and you want to read the law book The Liar by yourself, then I would recommend just clicking off this video right now. Okay, if you're still here, I would recommend watching my Felwinter Explained video first. It'll be in the description. So, with the conclusion of the Felwinter Lie quest, many of you are probably wondering, why did Rasputin kill Felwinter? Why did he turn on the Iron Lords? Why did he use Siva as bait? And the answer is beautifully simplistic, yet not very obvious. It will take me a bit of time to give you that answer, but I really think it's worth it. And I think this has massive implications for understanding Rasputin as a character. By the way, thank you to everyone who's joined in the live streams. The support has been amazing. This is Marlin Games, and I hope you enjoyed this latest Destiny 2 lore episode. So I want to start this story with the SIVA scan at Vostok Observatory that you hear during the Felwinter's Lie quest. I think this was quite shocking for people because it revealed that Rasputin used SIVA as bait to trap and kill the Iron Lords. Let me remind you about what the scan says. There's a Warmind Intelligence transcript associated with this spot. It references SIVA. But it doesn't make sense to me. From what I knew, the Iron Lords went after SIVA themselves. Felwinter wanted to use it to build up the city. And I thought Rasputin reprogrammed SIVA to attack them when they entered the vault. But this says he gave SIVA a new directive long before that. He was using it as... bait. The Iron Lords didn't go after SIVA on their own. Rasputin led them to it. Now, this is mostly true. Rasputin definitely planted information that would lead Felwinter to Site 6, also known as the SIVA Replication Complex, where he and the other Iron Lords were killed by SIVA. But I believe that Felwinter's obsession with SIVA started when he met a villager after claiming Felwinter Peak. For a moment, I thought maybe this villager was planted by Rasputin somehow, that her function was to guilt Felwinter into looking for SIVA, which of course led him away from the protection of Felwinter Peak, but I couldn't find any hard proof of that. Anyway, the primary reason for Felwinter pursuing Siva came from Felwinter speaking with this villager. The Warlord entry from the law book The Liar reads, The month after that, she brought salvaged weapon parts. When Felwinter came to retrieve them, she watched him until he turned to go and then said, I know about you, you know. When he turned around to look at her, she lifted her chin. They call you Lord Felwinter. I hear you've killed more warlords than Castor. Over old technology, from the time before the collapse. Not a warlord, Felwinter murmured, hiking onward. Arthi watched him, then called to his back. Just because you say that doesn't make it true. She came back the next month, and the next month, and the next... They spoke a little more every time about life in the village, about what they imagined the time before the collapse was like, about the future. The seventh time he saw her, he lingered a little while. Together, they looked out over the valley beyond the mountain. They could really help us, Arthi said softly. All those golden age technologies you know so much about. We could live a totally different life. The villager suddenly stops seeing Felwinter. Presumably, she has been killed. However, it's never confirmed. Then, in the very next entry, The Search, Felwinter is searching a Seraph bunker, and it is heavily implied that it was the connection that Felwinter made with the villager that led to this feeling of responsibility to rebuild humanity. And his plan was to find Siva and use it 
to rebuild. The law entry reads, Don't understand what you hope to get out of this, Fellspring said stiffly, as Felwinter searched a Seraph bunker. Golden Age weapons of every shape and size lined the walls. Some of them were clearly non-functional from age and disuse. Others looked pristine, save for the dust. If anything, she went on, you're just putting us back on his radar. When we stayed on the mountain, he stopped bothering us. When Felwinter didn't reply, Felspring bunched her shell and asked, more pointedly, Is this really because of what she said? Felwinter picked up one of the weapons, a massive grenade launcher. Who? Felspring did an incredulous spin. Who? She said mockingly. Who? So, Felwinter is on a path to find Siva and rebuild humanity. And the Siva scan in the Felwinter's Lie mission revealed that the Siva replication complex was a trap, a trap set by Rasputin to finally catch Felwinter. The lore entry, The Lure, explains how Felwinter and Felspring stumble upon the coordinates of Siva, which we now know was planted by Rasputin. And Felspring even suspected this. They suspected this was a trap, but they still took the risk anyway because of the potential benefits of Siva. Have a listen to the law entry. It reads, After a moment, she displayed a section of code for Felwinter to see. Research center, she said. There was a note of hope in her voice. Containment facility for something called Amphian Lyre. Do you think... I feel pretty damn sure, Felwinter said quietly. They looked at the screen of the console, where a little red light blinked on a map next to the words Site 6. Come on, Felwinter said. We'll have to tell the others. He committed the map to memory and turned to go, but Felspring zipped in front of him. Wait, she said. Wait a second. Wasn't that kind of... too easy? So yes, obviously it was too easy, and it was a trap. Interestingly, the code word for Siva used in this entry is Amphion Lyre. I believe this word has been used because in Greek mythology, Amphion was a musician who built the walls of Thebes by charming the stones into place with his lyre. In this case, Siva is the tool used to build the walls of the Golden Age, and humanity didn't charm them into place, but rather coded. They gave Siva the directive to build the walls. Now, I know this still doesn't explain why Rasputin wanted Felwinter dead. Why didn't he try to work with Felwinter? Why did he have to wipe out all of the Iron Lords? Did he consider Felwinter a threat? There are lots of potential answers. However, in my opinion, the answer comes down to understanding the purpose of Felwinter. Before Felwinter was a guardian, his entire purpose was to gather information for Rasputin. He was a Siddhartha Golem. And as an exo, he was meant to experience the world and humanity for Rasputin. Rasputin created this program because he believed experience was the best teacher. And of course, there were plenty of things he could not experience in his current form. So he sent Felwinter to do that on his behalf. The discovery law entry reads, Look, in the Golden Age, Rasputin executes a protocol called Siddhartha Golem. No idea what it is, some kind of knowledge gathering. It gathers a bunch of transcripts, conversations with humans, recordings of music, a huge database of literature. She whirled and the projection flipped through thousands of words of code and stopped again. Here, early dark age, a submind in old Russia says Siddhartha Golem is active and gone rogue. Her voice dropped. Around the time I found you, Rasputin did try to recover Felwinter, but once Felwinter was resurrected as a guardian, all of Rasputin's attempts failed. So Rasputin dropped warsats on Felwinter, sent a frame army after him, and eventually killed him with Siva. But why? The answer is beautiful in its simplicity and in its irony. When we reach the conclusion of the Felwinter Lie quest and the bunker opens, we receive this dialogue from Rasputin. It says, that was easier than I expected. I didn't open that door, Guardian. Rasputin did. I think he wanted us to find all of this. He's telling a story. In a time of great prosperity, a tyrant king sent his son to live among the people and learn their ways. He did so for many years, until a great calamity befell the kingdom. In the aftermath, 
the tyrant's son was changed. The tyrant's son turned away from his father and became a warrior. The tyrant chased his son across fields and mountains and oceans. He said, if I can't have my son, then no one shall. In the end, the tyrant used his son's love of the people against him. He promised him a miraculous technology that could rebuild the kingdom. When his son came to claim it, he unleashed a plague upon him. His son was destroyed, and the tyrant looked upon his tyranny and wept. Of course, the tyrant is Rasputin, the sun is Felwinter, the calamity is the collapse, the change was Felwinter being resurrected as a guardian, the miraculous technology is Siva. In this final scene, Rasputin is telling us why he killed Felwinter. Rasputin acted upon emotion, jealousy, human traits, the things that humans do that make no logical sense. Rasputin said, if I can't have my son, then no one shall. It is completely illogical, but he did it. The Siddhartha Golem program was to check Rasputin's protocols through human experience to develop emotion. Rasputin ends by saying, and the tyrant looked upon his tyranny and wept. Rasputin is showing remorse. He is sharing his mistakes with guardians. He is sharing his regret for killing his son, Felwinter. In my opinion, this whole law book, this whole event is to announce that Rasputin is no longer just a machine, that Rasputin has emotion, that Rasputin can act with emotion, Rasputin feels remorse, he is telling a story of guilt. Rasputin is closer to a human than he has ever been before. I love it. People have been asking me, why did Rasputin kill Felwinter? Why did he plant the Siva trap? And the answer is simple. The Siddhartha Golem program worked. He developed emotion. He then made a mistake like any human would. He acted on emotion like a human would. And now, it's really up to you to decide if this is a good thing or a bad thing. And with that, that concludes this latest Destiny 2 Law episode. If you'd like to support the channel and cannot think of a comment, you can leave the word wept to represent Rasputin developing emotions. As usual, it's been a pleasure. This is Marlin Games. Peace.